It's a bird. No, that's a plane. Nah, bitches, it's just moon day. So we begin another rousing episode of Teen Wolf within the walls of Beacon Hills High School after dark. Anybody who's ever seen this show before knows that bad things happen in the high school after dark. Need we remind you of the Canama incident and all of that business in the gym, like, we just need to put the school on lockdown after dark. Anyways, Officer Tara, who was this fabulous black queen, had to go and try to be Rambo and just died. How many black people do we have left? Miss Morell? And Miss Morell. As you know, you always gotta play a game of who's gonna find the dead body. Lydia didn't wanna find it, Styles didn't wanna find it, so they went back and forth. I don't wanna find it, you find it, I'm tired of dead bodies, you get it, you get it, no, I don't want it, you want it, get it, no, fine, 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 whatever. Scott's like, I found it. Boom. I would be eternally surprised if Styles doesn't have some type of meltdown soon because so many people close to him keep dying. First it was his mom from forever and a day ago, then it was the thirsty white girl, and then it was Officer Tara who apparently was like kind of like a mother figure to him, like she helped him with homework and stuff. So I can only imagine how he's gonna react now that his father has gone missing at the hands of the Dadak. I see that there's some dissension amongst the Alpha Twins. But we kind of saw that coming though, because Ethan has been consistently the nice one, the one that's kind of willing to compromise, help out, give information. And then Aiden's just a dick, so it was bound to happen sooner or later. I do not appreciate though, Aiden trying to threaten Danny because Ethan likes him. Like, who does that? You like him, but it's not me, so I'm gonna scratch his face off and eat it. Not on my watch, boo. I will get some wolf spade and some mistletoe. Whatever that little concoction Styles came up with to take down Ethan, I will use it on you. Don't come at Danny like that. I don't know which one I like better. DNA Digivolving or Voltron Wolf. I'm kind of leaning towards Voltron Wolf because that was real clever and more people probably know about Voltron than DNA Digivolving. But still, I will retain my creativity and call it DNA Digivolving because Jeff Davis, I won't give this to you after all that you've done. In true Jeff Davis fashion, just as soon as we get ready to get some answers, something has to happen, like Aiden getting his chest clawed out and Ethan having to go. But I guess it wasn't so bad because it further showed that Ethan is more willing to side with Scott's crew than his own crew because he stopped Aiden from bashing Cora's head in with that 45 pound weight. Not that I would be completely opposed to it because Cora still sucks. Okay. When it showed Guardians, was I the only one that immediately thought of parents? Because I know in the future they get Melissa and they already got the Shara. So what if they snatch Chris Argent and just really round out the, the three Guardians because they are always protecting their children? Well, Melissa, not so much. She kind of leaves Scott to his own devices. But you know what I mean. I think that the parents will be the Guardians, but that's not confirmed. It should be though. Okay. We all know what happened with Miss Blake at the end of the episode, but let's settle on her in the middle before we figure out that she's slick as shit. That scene with her and Derek was extra to the 10th power. Like her and him in the dark in that tunnel, like, oh my God, let me run at you. This is the notebook. Catch me, love me, touch me, feel me. Stop. Like their relationship doesn't seem organic to me. It's so forced because she's like, oh my God, I haven't seen you since you were bleeding out last time and I used your blood as lube. Like, stop, please. But I guess since she's evil, that's gonna stop anyways. Of course, they finally tell Papa the truth and he doesn't want to believe it, which in turn leads to a Stalinsky family blowout that I did not need right before he got kidnapped. That family is untouchable. Papa Stalinsky and Melissa McCall need to never be touched. 
because they are perfect parents and they need to get together. She called him handsome and it was fabulous and I just need them to get together and make a baby and then that baby can be everything that Scott and Styles are and it can just be fabulous and wonderful. But we can't do that if one of them dies. So, neither of them need to die. It is law. I never understand why when spooky shit happens, people just don't leave the room. Like the teacher who had wrote all that stuff in chalk on the board turned around and then it was something different. Why would you keep staring at it? Why wouldn't you just leave? I would just, just walk out. Why would you stay? I don't understand. That's like asking to be murdered. And look what happened to you. Look what happened. Did you hear Lydia's a banshee? Somebody told me that a few weeks ago. And so I wasn't super shocked when they told me, but it was nice to finally have that confirmation because that whole, is she magic, is she not magic, is she crazy, is she not crazy thing was getting old. So we now have confirmation that Lydia is a wailing woman, a banshee, if you will. But why would you try to confront that bitch by yourself though, Lydia? That was not the smartest move you could have made. You were in the room with Scott, with Isaac, with the sheriff, I think. Allison was there, her dad was there. All these people were there that could have actually done something, but no, you just wanna just bop out there by yourself and get got. Just girl, just stop being dumb. You're too smart to be that dumb. I knew it was you, Miss Blake. I knew it was you. Let me tell you how I knew. I inherently do not trust white girls and I knew it was gonna be a matter of time before you fucked up and I knew it. I knew it, I saw you coming. If they do something to the sheriff, I will kill everyone. I will, everyone will die because the sheriff is perfect and untouchable. Do not kill him or I will be upset. Final thought. Miss Morell is the slickest bitch and I love it. I just love it. I exist for it. Finally, I get an up close shot of Isaac. It feels like it's been weeks since I saw his beauty up close. And he got a sassy ass mouth too. Lydia used supersonic and it was super effective. Miss Blake used force palm and it was super effective. Stars, you better save your daddy. Twin telepathy. Should have known they had it. They can Voltron Wolf, so it only makes sense that they can like feel each other's pain. Chris Argent is badass with his pistols. He puts in major work every time. I knew you was evil, Miss Blake. I knew it. That's all.